Well hello, welcome to the channel. I know that I normally am posting vlogs but I thought this was something that Kate Mahalia requested from Instagram so I thought let's do it together. So I'm sure you can see from the title we're making, we're using Notion today to make our goal setting. So this template is awesome and I did try to make it a template that you could buy but failed. So the good thing about this is you can literally follow along the tutorial with me. So what I would suggest is if you have me on either your phone or your iPad and you use your laptop to create the template, it probably be the quickest way. Or if you want, you can have me on your laptop or your phone and then we can do the iPad together if that's the case. But either way, what I'd suggest is say, for example, you're just using your computer, try split the screen or you can pause me, come back at each section because it's quite easy to follow along as we go. But are you ready to get stuck into your goal setting? Let's go. So you're planning your goals for the new year. This specifically, this template I've created is mine. Basically the similar only I've added just random goals in to make it a wee bit more easier to do and to make it much quicker to show you because a lot of it you can do yourself then once you kind of get the basis. So you can see you can click into each section and you can see then even more in depth the different goals that you've got. First thing we need to do is we need to go and make a new page on our Notion. Okay, so even if this is your first page, then you're going to enlarge it so that it's the one thing that you can see. We're going to add in our title so i just went for create in 2023 and up in this corner you can see that you can actually change the font really really easily i personally quite like the serif one so that's the one i've stuck with and it changes the whole font like even everything that follows afterward so it's very easy to do okay so first thing we need to make and add is our database inline okay so you just add this from the little plus section i'm going to call this goals and then we're just going to start adding in random goals so for example i went for a run a half marathon go to the next block invest in quality skincare next block join a crossfit gym and then you can see here you can just click new to keep on adding and adding and adding so the next one i wrote is go for a walk we do another one learn how to invest can't remember all the ones that i've put in so i'm reading these as i go <laughs> what else am i putting in here find a therapist jesus all right killing <laughs> and then start my small business. Okay, so there's some really good examples. Then we need to go to this tag block and we wanna delete this completely. So delete property, then we wanna add our own. And we want this to be a date one and we're just gonna rename this deadline. Then here, we're just gonna click out of that and as you can see there, a wee calendar comes up. Then we wanna add another line and we want this to be a checkbox. I'm just gonna name it done. So you can see here, you're able to add in calendar section, able to click off the checkboxes to say that it's done. So what I recommend doing at this point is making sure that you push that table down so you can add this next table, the same thing, database inline above it, just because that allows the gallery function to be above. So again, we're going to go in, we're going to call it areas. We're going to start naming our different areas in our life. So I went for career, fitness, relationships. What else have we got going here? We've got material items. So basically, this is just all the areas that you want to focus on. Like maybe you want to add in spiritual. Maybe there's other sections you want to add in like family. So these were all the sections that I went with. So physical appearance is the last one. So we can see a good trend here. Do I have another one? Oh yes, daily habits, because I thought that would be a nice one to add. So this time we want to change this tag section to call it goals, right? And we want to change it to a relation. So the type is going to be a relation and we want it to be related to our goals table that we've just created okay which is this one here so it's just going to be below it then you want to go to show on goals and add relation and you can see here where the little arrow shows up that now you're able to click in and add in the goals that you've just added from below so we want to add in a career one into the career section so start a small business i can click out of that i can go to the fitness one then i can add in the run a half marathon or join crossfit click out of that and then as you can see now, these actually line up down to the area section in your table, which I find it's much easier to link them up this way. I just feel like you can see them better. So from here, then you can go in and because all the goals are split individually, I just feel like it's easier to do it this way. So again, I'm just adding in different sections to all these. So find the therapist, that's going to be personal development. And as you can see, this goes the whole way down. Oh, I've thought of new ones. So buy a new iPad. I'm, I think in this point, I was just trying to fill in all the sections for you. So there's a material one. And what else do we need to fill in? Oh, so there's a relationship one. So I've added date night once a month. So don't think that you have to add everything at once. You can go back, re-add things. So now that we've all this done, you can see here, we can add in, like I want to say, for example, my half marathons this time next year. So I've added that in and there's my deadline. 
Now what we need to do is we need to change this bottom table into a board, okay? This is where you get this, but we want to get rid of this no area section. So we scroll down, we go to group by areas, and then we just go hide empty groups. So that's going to get rid of all them groups at the start, and they'll be now at the end where it says hidden groups at the back. But you can see now you've got different sections of all your different areas, and you're able to easily see each goal and scroll across. So something I just like to do to tidy it up is I like to add in a little icon. So in this section, I'm just adding a target icon for everybody. This is done really, really easily. So you just literally click the little page that they've got. And then on the right hand side, it will show you the page. So you can click on the icon that will come up. So it'll pick a random icon. And from here, then scroll to icons. And I just typed in target and use the little target one. And you can see you can pick loads of different colors if you want. But I've just stuck with black for this to keep it simple. And again, if you want to use an emoji, you can. If you want to remove it, when you click into the top corner, it also says remove as well. So you can also just get rid of that icon if you want. But you can see now this correlates to the top one, so it's connected. So now what we want to do is we want to change this one. So we changed the last one to the board, but we want to change this one to the gallery. Now to get the little photos, we want to go to card preview and go page cover. This allows you to add in your own photo into this section that's blank. Okay, so how to get this, we want to go in and then above career it says add cover. And from here, this is where I had went to Pinterest and I have kind of saved a section for myself. But you can make it a color if you want, but you can pre-pick these photos yourself. So as you can see here, I have them named under my vision board section. Career, I've just added in a little photo myself. It takes a little bit of process and time. And then once you click out of that, now that's there, you can reposition it as well if you need it. I'm not sure if you can do the repositioning part on an iPad, but you can see now this comes up. So I'm just going to go in now and I'm going to just add in all the photos that I picked for each section. I think I forget about each section as I go, but I've just sped up this little section because the first part shows you how to do it for them all. So again, I kind of just picked things that relate in terms of the vision board to what it is. So material, I've put my portion because dream car vibes. But yeah, so I just went through, did this for them all. We've got a stack of cash for financial, you know. Because, because we want this to relate to our actual vision board that we make as well, it's nice that the photos that you have in your vision board are also on your goal setting page because it just makes the whole thing sort of tie in together that's what I think anyway so yeah and then we've got some nice quotes so this is what it looks like now when we're we've got to this section so from here we can add a little spruce spruce so we can add a cover onto this as well so again you can get a big quote I've got a quote here that I've added from just Pinterest again I think I tried this protect your energy one and I didn't like it because it was like blurry yeah so that's another thing I suppose when you're downloading images from Pinterest sometimes they can be very pixelated so it's probably just make sure that whatever you're downloading you really like and that it's a good quality one so this one here is much better quality so it is so I went with this one and then I think I just went in afterward to show you then you can move sections so say for example you want to put your daily habits to the top so that it's far easier to see you can do that the next thing I wanted to do to just add a wee bit more pizzazz was I wanted to add a divider. This just kind of helps tidy everything up. And then in underneath this, I added a little quote. So I just made this quote up, but I thought it was nice. And again, you can add in whatever quote you want here. You don't even have to add a quote. You can add in text. I just think it kind of ties the thing together a bit more. You can also add in images here. Like once you've the bones made at this point, then you can kind of just add in whatever you want in between sections, after sections to make it as pretty or as nice as you like. So again, this is to show you that you can actually change the font color on this. So I've added another divider onto this just to kind of spread everything up a bit better. So now we're looking good. I think I wanted to add in a wee bit more underneath this. So enter, use a little plus section and I added a divider under this and then I wanted to add in some text in here. Right, and I think I use this to show you how you can change the text as well. So in this text, I added in, I am the creator of my reality. Oh, I actually changed it to capitals, look at me go. So I'm the creator of my reality. This year is the year I elevate. So just something random, but I thought it was nice. So now we can turn this into, so we go to turn into, we can change this into a head and we can change it into whatever we want, but it just makes the font bigger. And I prefer that. So underneath, I think I just added another divider to kind of tidy everything up again. So yeah, love that. And then now we can go up to the top section. And again, as I said before, you can then just go in and change the font if you want. That'll change everything for you without actually affecting any of what you've done. And then you can customize the page, but we didn't actually do any of this. We didn't need to, because I was quite happy with the way everything looked. And here's a final look at everything. And then 
now that you've got everything set up this makes it so much easier oh I forgot to turn my cap locks off to just go back in now and actually set up your goals far easier rather than doing the part before where we'd actually had to go in and individually add each section whereas now you can kind of just go each section by section so what I'd recommend doing when you're actually setting up is just pick one for each of them so that way you have something in each section because otherwise it will be hidden because remember we clicked hide empty columns so make sure that nothing's hidden that way you can just go back in and re-add your goals just this way which makes it so much easier so I think I'm just adding one for each of them upgrade my car to add whatever you want it to be and when I say when you're doing these goals be as specific as possible like read 10 books this year like give a number make 10k a month give a number be so specific okay and then I think I went back in here to change this cover again which to be honest is completely unnecessary but I just wanted to show you that you can change colors again you can go back in you can reposition this again so there's a nice little blue section and as we scroll on down you can see this is the complete section and then you can click lock screen that way you can kind of stop anyone from toying with it but also it's just you can kind of see your full thing and we're done congrats so be sure to go and fine tune this and the good thing about this template is you can go in you can change things you can check things off move things around add to it constantly throughout the year and then what i would say too is what could be an even better idea is now that you've got the full year ahead what I would suggest is you could make another database that's purely just for like Q1, so from January to March, and what taking your main specific goals from that. But that's a whole other video. But for now, I wish you all the best for the year coming up in your 2022 or whatever year it is that you're watching this in. And 